Hello everyone. I'm Poe Kalmar and I'm going over uh, kind of how to get a VR avatar set up or a VTuber or uh, VR chat type avatar set up. And pretty much your programs that you'll need are VC Face, which is the program I use to kind of show myself, which is this one. And all you're going to do in here is just kind of pick out which avatar you've used. And then from there, you'll also need Vroid. Vroid is probably the better, easier version of to make your avatar in. And you can kind of customize it from everything from your eyes to hair and clothing and everything like that, which is kind of awesome. And you'll also need Streamlabs. Streamlabs is what's going to make it so that you can use your avatar instead of having to use your webcam. So that's what I do is I use an avatar instead of a webcam, more or less because I just like using the avatar more. Uh, you can also use Blender. Blender is more for if you're going to have a VR chat type model. You could take your Vroid model and put it into Blender. And from there, kind of, kind of mesh the bones a bit better and make it more optimized for VR chat. And then porting it from Blender to your uh, Unity and then onto VR chat. Uh, when you're doing the Unity, you have to download that from the hub that is on the VRChat website. Uh, I guess I could show you that real quick. VRChat. Oh yeah, but there's a plugin on here for the Unity website. And you just kind of pick one where you're going and you sign in and... It'll take you to the to the page that you need. Um, those are the main things that you'll need for this. Uh, Blender is more if you want to, you know, go into VR chat. But if you're not really going to VR chat, you just need kind of VC Face, Streamlabs, and uh, Vroid. Now, when it comes to Vroid, you have a couple choices. You have the one that you normally get with Vroid, which is the one that will normally download, which is the one I don't really use myself. Uh just in their download stream page and then what I do is I actually make mine inside of the beta and to get to the beta there's a little download link on the uh, VR, VR Vroid studio app and it'll take you into the beta uh, pretty much just all you're doing with this is though is you'll create a new model I'll just use one of my base models click on it and I'll load you in, and then going through here, all you're really doing is you're kind of changing your different eye sets and different types of what you want on your character to look like. Chose a clown, because clowny. <laughs> and eye shapes, all that stuff, nose, mouth, ears. I have kind of an elf ear thing. They have a thing in here for the size of your ears, and pretty much turns them into either elf ears or normal ears. And then the hair, you actually draw that on. I don't have my drawing tablet out right now, but you just kind of pick out your paintbrush and you draw the hair you want. Kind of just turn around your character and move them around a little bit. Look at them. Or her, or whatever. Just kind of uh, building out the hair style on your character with your paintbrush. Then you got your body editor, clothing editor. Clothing editor doesn't have very much in it baseline. But you can customize the clothes to look however you want, which is kind of what I did with my character. He has kind of a weird pinstripe suit thing going on. Uh, general editing, so that's your lighting, your bones, and kind of the shading, shaders you use. Yeah, that's pretty much all that you do on Vroid, and you can make a character pretty fast. I think it took me about maybe an hour and a half to get mine fully set up how I wanted it. And then from there, you're just on uh, Streamlabs, streaming your DC face, Vroid made character, and uh, that's all you're really doing with it. It's pretty easy steps to make these characters and kind of get them running. Uh, with VC face, let's see here. After you pick out the avatar you want to use, you know, you're just clicking it and then going through and clicking on what window you want. 
So you want your qual how quality and what's the different type, where your microphone's gonna go, and it'll show it all that. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. It's pretty easy setup. Um, for more in depth, I could make another video on that, on an in depth version of how to make the full avatar itself. But for the most part, it's already set up for you with VC Face, which is kind of nice. Uh, yeah, it's interesting way to do uh, YouTube or even Twitch streaming. It uh, kind of gives you a niche. So people kind of like that, seeing like weird things. And I would be able to move my hand if I had this thing called a uh, leap. Oh, it's a leap hand motion detector. And it looks at your hands and kind of like makes it so you can move. I do not have one. They're about $80. I don't have the extra for that right now. So I'm just kind of going with the normal head movement and everything like that. So you can just kind of see my some of my facial expressions. My eyes don't exactly work well. I wear glasses in IRL, so uh, it has some troubles sometimes with that, but it, it catches it every once in a while. <laughs> it's just a little slower than what you normally would see. And I kind of have this weird permagrin going on. But other than that, that's pretty much all you really need for it. I'll put all the links in the description for the uh, different things I use. Uh, that way you can kind of, you know, play around with them and get your own uh, VTubing set up going and maybe see you out there in the YouTube universe or the Twitch universe. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please like, subscribe, and uh, check out some other videos. I have a lot of gaming videos on here. Have a good one.